Hello and assalamu alaikum everyone. I am Kashif Kamran and welcome to the Strategic Business Leader Webinars to Success for Exams in December 2023. Let's look at the agenda of this particular webinar. The agenda of this December 23 webinar has been divided into three days. Today on the first day, I will be looking at the exam strategy with exams less than two weeks away. On the day two of the webinar, I will be looking at the time management and the changes in time management effective September 23 exams. And on the day three, the final day of this webinar, I'll be looking at how a student can excel 20 professional marks. So let's start first with the day one and let's investigate what a student should do inside 14 days uh, from your exams. So let's start the day one proceedings of the webinar to success for SBL. And I am investigating today the study strategy for last two weeks. Now, this is a crucial time uh, and a very important time because the utilization of these last 14 days will be very, very important how you perform on the day of the actual exams. Now, what sort of things should go through in these last 14 days? Let's have a quick scan of that. Now, this is what I think should be the best study strategy for the last 14 days. You can have your own because you know your own position where you are standing currently. But uh, ideally, uh, by this point in time, most of the students have completed of their uh, theoretical uh, understanding of SBL. And this is a time where mostly students uh, go inside the practice phase for SBL. And the last 14 days are crucial uh, towards the practice of SBL past papers because the more you practice, the better you would be. So let's see what's an ideal study strategy for the last 14 days. The first thing in the last 14 days definitely is to be the practice and the practice of several past papers, which I'll just be uh, going through. The practice also includes the mock examination, which ACC has published for December 23, which is the pre-December 23 mock now available on the practice platform. How many past papers you should ideally be planning for in the last 14 days? Number one, you should aim at two specimen exams, which are valid from September 23 onwards. We know since September 23 exams, there were some changes in the time management the pre-seen content coming in, the number of tasks going down to three, and the number of exhibits in the real exam going down to four. So all those changes were incorporated in the specimen exams, the two of them valid for September 23. Then you have to do the seven practice exams, recent past papers. So ACCA has uploaded recent past papers from 2020, 21, 22, and 23. So you need to do them uh, even though they are the past papers where you will see uh, the number of tasks being more or the number of exhibits being more because the changes came from September 23, but still the content is valid. Uh, you can do the practice. Uh, you can understand the task. You can answer the task. So in terms of uh, the uh, application, those past papers are still very valid except for the time management now changing, the number of tasks now going down and the pre-seen coming in. So leaving that aside, uh, the past papers, which are still there on the practice platform for ACCA, the recent past papers from 2020 onwards are still valid in terms of practicing and uh, practicing different syllabus areas ahead of your exams. And one pre-December 23 mock exam. So that in all make 10. So 10 in the last 14 days, that's what you're aiming at in terms of your practice. Now you need to self-evaluate yourself that in, in terms of these 10, how much have you done already? So the one you've already done, you will not be repeating them and you will be left with lesser papers to do in the last 14 days. But these are the must one. Two specimen exams while it's September 23, one mock exam, which is the pre-December 23 mock exam, and then the seven practice exams, the recent past papers. The second thing you need to focus on in the last 14 days ahead of your SPL exams is to read through articles uh, to get the examiner perspective, because most of these articles are written by the examiner. 
and you need to go into them to find what is the examiner perspective for a given topic in SBL. Because a lot of, lot of time we read the books. Uh, the books is not giving us the right uh, perspective of the examiner. The examining team article is giving that. But again, there are like 36 articles, which I'll just be sharing with you. But is that possible to read all the 36 articles in the last 14 days? Absolutely not. There has to be a, a list for less articles, important articles to be read in the last 14 days. And I'll just be sharing that with you shortly. So reading through the articles is important, but again, it's humanly impossible that you read through all the 36 articles at this point in time. You should have read them when you started preparing yourself for the December exams way back in September or August. That was an ideal time. If anyone has read all the 36 articles by now, you are in an excellent position. But if anyone has not even touched upon on a single article yet, I'll be giving you a list of which articles to go through in the last 14 days. A quick revision of all models and theories. Sit down with a pen and a paper. Start from syllabus area A, go to the syllabus area B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and just investigate inside every syllabus area, right from leadership, governance, strategy, risk, enabling success or technology, which were the more important models or theories you came across, like integrated reporting, six capitals, or like the risk heat map, or like the four line of defense, like the Menlo metrics, the Beldrich model, like the COSO ERM, like the PESTEL, like the Port of Five Forces. Uh, there must have been many models and many theories you've gone through. Try just to pen them down uh, for each syllabus area. Just, just try to sum up that what have you done inside each syllabus areas, like the cultural web model, like the leadership styles, like the leadership traits. So there could be a few or many inside each syllabus area. That's what you need to investigate and pen them down so that you can just have a holistic revision of each of the model and theory inside each syllabus area for SBL. That is extremely important, a quick revision. If you've already made a summary while you were going through your exam preparation for December, that summary itself would be very vital for a quick revision at this point in time. Anyone having access to the Dr. Dinu 100 series uh, PDF, uh, if particularly you are my regular student registered with me, you will be having a document known as the Dr. Dinu 100 series PDF that itself is very vital for a revision in the last 14 days. But you can have your own uh, revision, you can have your own summaries uh, by using a pen and paper and just going over each syllabus area and try to investigate which were the more important models and theories you came across when you were studying from syllabus area A to syllabus area H. Reading and making notes from the December 23 pre-seen case, which will be available on the 21st of November, which is today. I'm conducting the day one of the webinar. So ideally some point today, you will be getting the pre-seen content for December 23 exams and your preparation around that should also start in. Plus the tutor debrief session. If you are already enrolled under a tutor, you will have a tutor debrief session for the pre-scene. So you should also watch that after you have completed your own reading and making notes of the pre-scene yourself. See what the tutor is guiding you in terms of the pre-scene and you can take some extra content from there to have a better knowledge and better familiarity of the pre-scene ahead of your actual exams. And the last thing which I would recommend to all of you is to read through September 23 examiner report. This is must. I again emphasize this is must. This is of the recent exam, September 23, uh, which was held under the new time management, which was held under the pre-seen case, which was held with uh, having few tasks and few exhibits. So what the examining team has to say about September 23 sitting, how the student utilized the pre-scene, uh, was it good, was it bad? How the student utilized the new time management, was it good, was it bad? So you want to understand how the students who appeared for September 23 performed 
because you are going for the December 23 exam. So you should have a better reading of the September 23 examiner report. This is a must and a fundamental and each one of you should do it, whether you are enrolled under a tutor or you're doing a self study. Number five to me is the most crucial thing after number one in this list for the last 14 days. Just before moving further to the technical articles you should be reading in the last 14 days, just want to share with you the a glimpse of the examiner report. This is from where you can get hold of the examiner reports. You can see right here on the top of the screen, you have the examiner report for September 23 exam. You click on it and you will open through the document which is known as SPL, September 23 examiner report. There are journal comments and journal comments for the format of the exam, pre-seen information, journal comment about how was the overall exam performance. You should read through that. A journal comment about how a student should analyze the exhibits given on the day of exam, how you should go with planning, time management, the new time management when you have three hours and 15 minutes. Reason for failure, to me, that is the most important. Reading page number seven will play a crucial part in your success in the upcoming exam. So you should spend a critical time on reason for failure. Technical marks, how you can ex how you can excel the technical marks. Uh, what is the marking scheme for technical marks? Professional marks, how you can grab most of the 20 professional marks. Then there are specific comments. Task number one, if you've already done the task one from the September 23 exams while you were practicing for December 23 exams, you can read through task one comments, task two comments, and task three comments. But it would be more beneficial if you have attempted the task before and you're reading the comment after. So if anyone has not yet done the September 23 paper, do it first. And after you've done it, then read the comments so you can investigate the shortcomings in your own answer. So but this 18 page of document is extremely important for you because this will give you the right exam rigor ahead of your September 23, uh, December 23 exam, sorry. Okay, now back to the last element, reading through the articles. Now, when I say reading through the articles, this is something which a student must have done when uh, the student started preparing for the December exams. At this point in time, when the exams are just 14 days away, it's humanly impossible that you read through all the 36 technical articles which are available on the website and are split into eight syllabus areas. 14 days is not an ideal time. Uh, you should do all of them. But in these 14 days, you should not uh, say that I'm not reading the articles. At least read some of those articles in the 14 days, and I'll be giving you a list of some which can be beneficial. Which one to focus on in these last 14 days? Because the time is less, you need to do a lot of things as just guided to you on the preceding slides. So to me, which, which articles you should do, I tried to identify them. And to me, these are 17 most important ones. So 36. I'm saying 17, that's almost half of the articles available on the website of SBL. Let's see which are the 17 most important one. I've just categorized them under the syllabus areas because if you go to the website where the technical articles are available for SBL, just let me show you that. Uh, this is the technical articles uh, for SBL. You can see they are divided into syllabus area A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. You click on the syllabus area and you get to the articles. So they're divided into eight syllabus areas. So I've just tried picking up which are the most important one under each syllabus area as per the title given on the website. For syllabus area A, uh, responsible leadership and culture and configuration is important, particularly culture and configuration, because, you know, examiner focus a lot on cultural web model. Examiner focus a lot on leadership styles and leadership traits. So both of them can be extracted out of the top, uh, out of this article, culture and configuration. And obviously, cultural web is an important model and leadership style is an important theory. On the right hand side of the screen, syllabus area B, which is governance. Diversifying the board is important. Examiner is very uh, uh, inclined uh, in the recent papers asking about benefits of lots of things. So benefits of diversifying the board is important and you should focus on that. 
Integrated reporting framework, we know this is a, a very frequently asked question by the examining team about integrated reporting, integrated thinking, uh, asking something around six capitals, uh, benefits of integrated reporting. So a lot of things can be extracted out of that article. And same goes with public sector governance, uh, differentiating between a public and a private sector governance. What, what are the different attributes of governance in a public sector and how differed they are from a private sector governance? So you should have an understanding of that from this particular article. In the syllabus area C, market segmentation, how you segmentize your market. Customer segmentation has already come in the recent paper, so you should be very familiar with the customer and market segmentations, the way you do the segmentations. What are benefits of segmentations? Because exa examiner is very fond of asking benefits in different syllabus areas. In the syllabus area D, I would just recommend one as important four line of defense. I, I foresee four line of defense being examined somewhere in the recent exams coming up in December or March 24. You should have a good idea of what four line of defense are and how they provide you an assurance mapping against risk. Under the syllabus area E, reading through uh, the article application of new technology, part one, two, three, because they were published in the last six months, still very important. Uh, examiner is very fond of asking questions around mobile technology, cloud technology, big data, or something like that. So you should have a good understanding of the new technology, part one, part two, part three, because something from these articles is highly likely in December 23 exams, and you cannot miss them out. Principles of e-marketing, you should have a better idea of the principles of, six, uh, of the e-marketing, the six I's. Uh, be sure that you know this model of six size. Cybersecurity, threats and benefits should be knowing that. Big data, uh, what are benefits, what are challenges, what are threats of big data? Very frequently asked question, one of the favorite one of examiner from syllabus area E. Uh, from syllabus area F, internal controls, there is no article I should recommend you because it's more like an area which you also grab from your AA or F8 knowledge. Syllabus area G, assessing organization performance. We know a lot of time a question comes where you need to assess the financial and non-financial performance of an organization. A very frequently asked question, assess the financial and non-financial performance of the organization. So this article would help you with that. On the side of the syllabus area H, uh, project document, uh, the PID, roles and responsibility. We know this is a recent article in the last six months, so you cannot undermine the importance of that for the upcoming exam. Any question around a project sponsor, project manager, you know these have been frequently occurring in the past few uh, attempts. Uh, PID, uh, the outline of PID, how you formulate a PID, you should have a better idea of that. Baldrige performance excellence model, that is another very important model for your syllabus should read through this examiner perspective, how a question can come on it. And the Harmon process model. There is a video uh, at the end of Syllabus Area H. Please watch this video for the Harmon process model so you know how to effectively apply that on the day of exam. So these are 17 highly recommended articles under each of the syllabus areas, which with syllabus area F having none to read. A total of 17 articles in the last 14 days. I hope you can manage them all. So once again, just let's skim through the 14 days study strategy. Practice of the 10 exam papers in the last 14 days. Reading through the articles, I've just recommended 17 of them to be read through. A quick revision of models and theories, I've just guided how to go about it. If anyone have access to Dr. Dinu 100 PDF, that would be great. Reading and making uh, notes of the SBL pre-seen case for December 23, and then getting benefit from the tutor debrief if you are enrolled with a tutor. And finally, reading through the SPL September 23 examiner report, particularly the reasons why students fail in SPL would be good enough for the icing on the cake as you prepare yourself for your upcoming SPL December 23 exams on the 5th of December. So this is it from the day one of your uh, December 23 webinar for SBL. I'm Kashif Kamran signing off and I'll meet you soon with the day two of this webinar. Take care, goodbye and Allah Hafiz.